Welcome to Tech with Dhamir. In this video, we are going to discuss about this uh, question. Um, explain steps uh, if your cell phone today you are stop working um, and what you will do. This question can be asked in many ways. Uh, how you would know that uh, cell phone today IR is running? Uh, how um, in case uh, your uh, cell phone today IR services stop? What you will do and all those kind of things. Uh, so first of all, uh, what is cell phone today IR uh, and why we need it? Uh, if you need to read the data from uh, different network uh, such as from on premises cloud uh, you will need this uh, cell phone to die your um, you will install on one of the machine uh, on your on-premises network uh, and uh, then uh, you will be able to communicate uh, to the cloud uh, so in this case uh, I have set up a uh, cell phone to die your on my uh, laptop uh, and uh, then uh, on the Azure side uh, we have created a cell phone to die your uh, now in case uh, if I need to read the data from my on-premises SQL or from the just uh, read the data from the any folder uh, that's on my laptop I I will be able to read uh, the data and load to the cloud. Uh, now, when we create the self hosted IR, uh, here uh, a few of the things uh, you would know, need to do. You will look, get a key pair and then uh, use it uh, while you configure. Uh, now, in this case, uh, if you see, I am on uh, Azure Data Factory portal and here I am in the integration runtimes. Uh, and uh, I can see two integration runtimes here. One is uh, auto resolve, another one is called SHIR that I gave the name. And it is self hosted. Uh, and uh, as of now, you can see that uh, this is called unavailable now let me refresh and you see right there and uh, I can see I can go to the troubleshoot guide and uh, why this is unavailable let's click here and take a look so you can go to the node here and you can see this is the node name and it is saying status unavailable the very first and common thing uh, you would like to do because uh, self host uh, is in has, has installed a service uh, on your system uh, so uh, go to services and here uh, you can go to the integration runtimes uh, click right there and type I once you do that uh, you're gonna see integration runtime service uh, if that service is a uh, uh, offline uh, or stopped that's the first thing you need to do you can go ahead and start that service um, it's called integration runtime service uh, so right click and start once you do that you should be seeing uh, this should be coming online uh, this is one way let's go for another way we will search for called integration runtime so let me uh, select right there Microsoft integration runtime this is an app uh, that is installed uh, so this has more details such as settings diagnostics update help and here on the home uh, it also has this button called start service so this is the same thing you can start service from here or click uh, start service so so in case uh, your uh, cell phone IR is not working on the very first step, uh, you are going to tell the person who is interviewing you, you will check the Azure uh, cell phone IR, uh, that's integration runtime on the machine uh, which is uh, used for cell phone IR. So you check that node on which uh, you have installed. Uh, so check that service and once it's on, then you will come back to the portal uh, and uh, take a look. Uh, once you are on the portal back uh, and refresh, uh, it should uh, be running. Uh, now now you can always go here and uh, go to the uh, in different nodes you can see the node information and see if the node is running or unavailable in last uh, when we had stopped it it was unavailable that's why we knew the service is not running uh, often uh, I have seen scenarios of where uh, maybe it is a uh, you have problem with the where you have very old uh, service or and the, the new uh, new update has been in, uh, provided and sometimes you have see the different errors uh, always recommended to auto maybe auto update or update on some specific time uh, so you keep up uh, uh, my Microsoft pretty much I believe at least uh, provide one update per month so you can think of if you have not updated in the last six months you could be missing so many things and that can create some problem with your self hosted IR so that's uh, pretty much it uh, for now uh, and uh, other parts uh, if I will be you one thing I will look on the integration runtime uh, if it is start or stop a second uh, I will always go to the event uh, uh, viewer and uh, get more information on that node where uh, self hosted IR or integration runtime is installed so if I will go here go to applications uh, and here uh, I can see let me find out that uh, see right there applications and services in the event log, uh, you're going to go to the 
application and service log and here you are going to see connectors and uh, you will see integration runtime uh, and here you can see that uh, all those uh, logs related to the integration runtime service uh, so if uh, there is any error you can uh, take a look here and uh, it is very helpful and tell you a lot of details sometime maybe uh, networking issue communication happening or service restart you can always take a look from here as well um, so here is a uh, your integration runtime uh, see right there so you can gather all different information from here all right thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video